Hey guys, and welcome to another video on the channel today. We've got the game week four predictions. I am joined by Philip this week. He's back from the dead. Before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smack my bell because later on we're going to have an Arsenal versus Tottenham preview and there might be a little bit of a Spurs running included. So the first game this week is Southampton versus Man United. Southampton who just beat Brighton away in the Premier League. This is before the Carabao Cup game so they might have beaten Fulham. Man United's last game regardless was Crystal Palace and they lost 2-1. Um, this game I do think Man United bounced back. I'm going with 2-1 Man United. Manchester United didn't really look the part against Crystal Palace. Um, Rashford missed a penalty. Yeah. yeah. It is Manchester United's first loss of the season. You could say Palace got lucky, but at the end of the day, they won. Uh, obviously, I know a lot of people know what happened. Rashford missing a penalty. Uh, ironically, after Pogba missed a penalty the game before, they bounced back from this. Uh, I think. Uh, win, I think they'll win. Southampton beat Brighton. Uh, Southampton beat Fulham. Southampton beat Fulham. I think Manchester United will win 2 0. Next is Chelsea versus Sheffield United. Yeah, no, I mean, Chelsea, they beat Norwich. It's a cracking game, by the way. It's good really game, yeah, I watched them actually today, that was a good game. Sheffield United, they lost to Leicester, uh, but this is a big six team. Or contenders for big six um, and Tammy Abraham something I've noticed his only goals for Chelsea are against championship clubs his only goals in his career are against championship clubs Sheffield United last year a championship club I'm going 3-0 Chelsea Ooh. Tammy Abraham to score against a former championship club I don't know whether the win over Norwich put the confidence needed in that Chelsea squad now you might say that they don't really need confidence but they were playing good football, but they weren't getting the results. They looked good attacking-wise against Norwich, but in, in, and the midfield, Kovacic, I think, had a good game. Uh, Mount had a good game. But their defence conceding two goals and the set-piece, there may be a bit of confidence, you know, that finally they can play the way they want to play and win games. Okay, it's championship sides. Against championship sides, obviously. Sheffield United obviously lost against Leicester. They didn't play very badly, even though Chris Wilder in the press came out and was kind of doing the uh, the hair drive treatment of how how we saying that he was disappointed and things like that. But I didn't think they played too badly. But yeah, getting on with the result, I think that Chelsea will win, and I think that Chelsea will win two one. Next is Crystal Palace versus Aston Villa. Crystal Palace who just beat Man United two one, and then Aston Villa who. Beat Everton 2-0, both getting their first wins. Palace, Zahar's not really looked decent this season. He's not actually, has he? No. He's, no, he's not had his normal spark. No. Uh, there, was, there was a lot of people saying that his, his attitude's still class, considering that he wanted to leave and everything. But whether he's putting in 100% effort or not uh, remains to be seen. I know it's only three games, but in those three games, it's not been about Zaha, it's been about Andre Ayew, and it's been about, again... Andre Ayew, who plays for Swansea. Andre, what's his name? Jordan. Ayew, Jordan Ayew. It's been about Jordan Ayew and Patrick Van Arnholt, and not about the main talisman for Crystal Palace. So, yeah. it remains to be seen whether he'll actually turn up, and he if he doesn't will. turn He probably up, will now, fucking sods law is how we work. Yeah, probably. Aston Villa, John McGinn looks a player. Wesley got his first goal against Everton. That's a very good finish as well, by the way. I'm going with a draw here and going 1 0. Uh, I also think it'll be a 1 0 draw. Oh. Uh, I don't you think didn't just go with the same score. Crystal me, did Palace you? will ride the momentum of beating uh, Manchester United. Obviously, that's, I think that's going to be a 1 off. I think that's. Uh, they don't really play very good football. One of the two sides will score early and then sit back and be late on that one of the other the, the, the other side Aston Villa will score goal. first within 10 minutes and then Milivojevic or however you say his name will score a penalty in the 88th minute there you go, we've predicted the future for you. next is Leicester versus Bournemouth um, Leicester as we said beat Sheffield United and Bournemouth who lost 3-1 to Man City Harry Wilson scored a fucking fantastic free kick that was sweet as a nut could be a interesting game, a result going either way, a, a draw, that's what happens in football really. 
bah, you know, Leicester at home, you got to favour them. I'm going to go with a 2-0 Leicester win. What are you thinking of? Two in a row. Bloody hell. Two in a row, we've gone with the same result. But uh, my reasoning is pretty much the same as Aaron's. Next is Man City versus Brighton. Man City are outstanding. Aguero, Sterling, the lot of you. De Bruyne is back on form. Um, Brighton don't really boast a good record against Man City, uh, which is one going with Man City for. Oh, I'm going, and I don't know, they tend, teams tend to score at big grounds, but Man City and Man City, but I'm going to go oh, I, I, I'd agree with you there, they tend to score at the ground, but it's at late in, it's a late stage late in, in the game. game when the defence have opened up, because yeah. they're pretty much home and dry. I think that it will be 3-1, I do think that Brighton will get to that goal. Uh, I like the look of Brighton going forward. Obviously, they'll be missing Andone, but what does that really matter? When you come up against Manchester City, all you've got to do is defend, 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 defend a bit more, and defend a bit more, then defend a bit more. Then it'll be half time, and then you've got to come out and you've got to have your team talk, and you've got to say, right, lads, we've not been doing enough defending. So then we've got to defend a bit more, then we go back out, and then we've got to do some defending, some defending, and some defending, and then we might get a one break counter attack. You know, but then they're going to get the ball back and then you've got to run backwards and then you've got to defend and then you've got to defend some more and then you've got to defend some more but then that's going to be useless anyway because by the time you defend it, it's going to be 5-0. So, Even though you think it's going to be 3-1? Even though I think they'll, 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 they'll get goal. Well next, speaking of defending and defending and defending and going forward and scoring, we've got the team that done that and scored against us. We've got Newcastle taking on Watford. Newcastle, you're still shit, you're still getting relegated. Even more reason for me to think you're going to get relegated. Fuck off out of the Premier League. Um, Does that mean we get to take their spot? Yeah, yeah. Yay! Yeah, you can go back down as well. Um, Newcastle are playing against Watford who haven't got any points, Watford who play Coventry right now as we're speaking, um, but Newcastle at St James's Park against a bang average team in Watford, I'm going to give them all three points, I'm going with 2-0 to Newcastle. There's been a lot of criticism about Newcastle and obviously it's deserved with them losing 3-0 against Norwich, but the way that they played against Tottenham showed that they've actually been doing something rather than uh, getting the Newcastle bus to Greggs uh, during training sessions and they put up an absolutely fantastic defensive performance against the very attacking Tottenham side. It was a really good defensive display and whether they can continue that is, 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 uh, is unknown yet. Watford yet to get a win, yet to get any, won. any points. Yeah, but they might have been in Coventry. Yet to get any points in the Premier League so far. Uh, not that they haven't played well, I think they've played okay, they've got unlucky, they haven't taken their chances, I can remember the game against Everton, Troy Deeney had a chance and it was a great save in the end by Pickford, There's a, there could be mounting pressure on Javi Garcia with Watford's ownership, I know that they gave him a new contract but that doesn't mean they have to keep him for that contract and going off of their managerial record, uh, he's most likely going to be sacked very soon unless things turn around. And I think this is where they will get their first three points of the season. I think that they will win 1-0. And I think mm. it'll be quite late on goal. I think both teams will look very shit the first half and very shit until late on in the game where one team, Watford, will decide, fuck it, we'll have to do something. And then uh, Andre Gray or someone like that will score in the 89th, 80th, 90th minute. Something right. like that. Yeah. Next is potentially a good game. I do really think that. West Ham versus Norwich. West Ham, who did they play on the weekend? Watford. No. Yeah, yeah Watford. Watford. They won 3 1. Uh, Haller with a couple of goals. Two goals. Um, two goals, two goals yeah. Two goals. That's why I said a couple of goals. Yeah, um, yeah, good point. 3 1 against Watford. Norwich, who look okay. Apart from Liverpool, they beat Newcastle 3 1. And played well against Chelsea, lost 3 2. This game, I'm going to go with a good old Philip favourite, Desmond 2-2. I'm going to go with the Haller and Pookie show, two goals for each. West Ham, they're, 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 they're the epitome of a mixed bag team in the Premier League in my opinion. They won against Watford, uh, obviously quite an easy win considering what had been going on with Watford not winning 
uh, games, not getting any points and what. Uh, but Watford didn't actually play all too badly uh, in the first half. But uh, West Ham's quality showed in the end. How they getting two goals, like Aaron said, then it was a quite good team performance. Uh, Norwich, I mean, they've been they're, 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 they're quite a good side to be fair. As much as I really dislike them and envy their success in promotion and everything that they do, uh, they play good football. They are very unlucky against Chelsea. They played some fantastic football when every threat that Chelsea posed, Norwich had an answer to. Uh, they play the same style, they play the way that they want to play against the opposition which I admire but at the same time could be their downfall if shit starts going downhill and he still wants to stick with the way that they want to play. But at the moment it's, it's looking good, they're playing good stuff, they're getting, they're, they're, they're not, oh, it's not obviously not a bad start that they've had even though they've lost uh, against Chelsea but they obviously still look good. Coming up against West Ham, I think it'll be a draw. I also think it'll be 2-2. Uh, I think good. it'll be very open uh, by both teams. Uh, and yeah, it'll be... That's a, three results the same. Puki and Haller, who will be the better of the two new boys to the Premier League. Next is Burnley versus Liverpool. Burnley, who got a draw against Wolves. Unlucky to get the three points. Liverpool, who just beat Arsenal 3-1. Um, Liverpool, Liverpool really, aren't they? Unbeaten yeah, in the league, nine points out of nine points. Burnley look very good though, and at Turf Moor, maybe could cause a throw up, but I doubt it. I do think they score, Ashley Barnes getting the goal, because that's the only way they are going to score. I am going with Liverpool win, you'd be stupid to not go with Liverpool win. I'm going 3-1 Liverpool. Uh, like Aaron said, it'd be very hard not to back Liverpool in a game like this. Burnley defend quite a lot normally but coming up against the big six team they're gonna have to defend 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 get defend, the defend. Counter and then it'll be half time one, then it'll be the Sean Dykes will say to his players that they need to defend some more than they've already been defending and they're gonna come out and they're gonna defend they're gonna defend they're gonna defend and then they're gonna defend some more and then they're gonna defend and then they're going to defend, and then they're going to defend, but then by that point they'll already be 3 0 down, which I think is what the result's going to be. Uh, and then it's going to be like, well, what are we going to do now? And they're going to have to sit down on the pitch and cry. Next, we have the first of the two games on Super Sunday, two taster games on Super Sunday. We've got Everton versus Wolves. Everton, who just lost to Villa, but they've looked okay in the previous two games. Wolves, who have had a bit of a shaky start, they've drawn all three Premier League games, but they do face Torino in the Europa League, a problem I said would happen. It was proved last Sunday, and I think it happened again. They're 3-2 up on aggregate against Torino, so they need to score at least two, I'd say. Torino are a good team, um, and Everton, I think, could take advantage of a tired Wolves team. They're going to put their first team out. Um, I think it'd be close. I'm going to go with an Everton 1 0 win. Everton Zero. against Aston Villa was chance, miss, chance, miss, chance, miss, chance, miss, chance, miss, chance, miss, chance, miss. And they could have easily won the game, but they couldn't take their chances. And when you can't take your chances, you're very open to getting chances against you. And that's what happened, and Villa won 2 0. Uh, but they didn't, they, they weren't awful. Uh, they, like I said, they should have taken their chances. Theo Walcott missed the fucking sitter. Uh, which is pretty much the epitome of Theo uh, Walcott's career. But, yeah, um, coming up against Wolves, who have been mediocre, but that's because of the Europa League that was proven with Burnley. Uh, when a mid-table team gets thrusted into a Europa League competition, they can't handle it. But yeah, that's the situation that uh, Wolves are in. Uh, and if they, want to, if, they, if they beat Torino and make their way into the group, that's only going to get worse for them, uh, and I think that their drawing run is going to continue. I think that they'll draw one all. Uh, it could be a tight game. I think Wolves might want to sit back and let their and soak up the pressure and then hit on the counter attack. Next uh, is the Arsenal versus Tottenham game. North London derby, the best derby. You just world. admitted that it was Arsenal versus Tottenham the other week. You said to me it was Tottenham versus Arsenal, but you just admitted it yourself now. Yeah, because on, pa on paper, on paper, Arsenal are the home team. That's what I said. Ah, right. Fair enough. 
<laughs> you say it in a general context, you put Tottenham first. Oh, okay. Well, I'd like to hear Arsenal fans' opinion on this. You know, what do you think about what Aaron says? What do you think about Tottenham? You know, you know. This one, um, there's no scores going to be dished out here. If you want to find out the scores, you can watch the preview that goes up in four hours' time of when this goes up, 4.30. It's going to be an interesting preview. Uh, I have a lot to get off my chest about Spurs at the moment, so yeah. The results that are going to be filled in here are bikes that are doing wheelies across my road. David McGoldrick's house! No! <laughs> <laughs> so, if you want to see a whole preview, uh, there will be a link in the description. More reason to subscribe and smack my bell for when it goes out. Make sure you watch the Arsenal vs Tottenham preview. So yeah, thank you for watching and we will see you at 4.30 or whenever you watch this and go to watch the next video. Goodbye.